In this video, I will show you the 5 creative titles you can use in Filmora 13. This is what we are going to be creating. Watch the video until the end to not miss anything. Also I will leave a link in the description for every font we are going to be using in the video. Before we start the video go into the first link in my description and it will redirect you to Elements in Vado. The subscription there is super cheap and affordable for video editors. Get the best stock footages, fonts, templates, effects and everything any graphic designer or video editor could possibly need. Title number 1 drag and drop the default title in the timeline and extend it until the end. Now choose the font Quinn Bolt, I'm gonna change the color to this green. And let's slice the text into three pieces. Bring the last one here and cut it one more time. Now place the text layers just like I'm doing on the screen. On the first text type, media. On the second text type, F and L and on the third text A and T. Now adjust their position, just like I did on the screen. Let's add a transition in the beginning of these three text layers. Find the offset chunky left transition in the search bar and add it to the text layers. And for the ending transition, add the offset right transition. Now that looks perfect, let's move on to the second text. Add another text layer and type in the elements with big letters. After that make the size of the text 150%. Find the glitch blur transition and add it to the beginning of the text layer. And for the ending transition add the polar line split transition on the text layer. This looks good. Let's now go in the last text layer, extend it all the way until the end and copy what I'm doing. I'm gonna type Envato with big letters in it and increase the text size to 280%. Now let's add the grid transition one to our last text layer for the beginning of the animation. And for the ending add the offset chunky right transition. Next what we are going to do is go to effects, and then find the fast zoom effect, drag and drop that to our timeline. Double click on the effect and start adjusting it copying what I'm doing on the screen. Let's now see the preview. That looks perfect. Now copy and paste the same effect once again. Adjust glow and range to 0% and make the strength 3.14%. And now let's preview what we have created here. Title number 2. Drag and drop the default title to the timeline and change the font to a Nexus Bold. I will type in the text flat media and increase the text size to 225%. Let's change the color of the title to black. Now drag and drop another text to our timeline. Change the font to John Hallen Tail. Change the font color to this yellow. Let's type flat media here as well. Next what we are going to do is add a starting animation for both text layers. Add the interlay split transition for the first text layer and adjust it like I'm doing on the screen. Now for the second text, double click on it and click on advanced. Go to animation and add the typewriter animation to this text layer. This is our preview for this title. Title number 3. Drag and drop the default title on the timeline. 
Change the font to old originals. Type in the text layer, flat. As well change the size of the font to 150%. Slice the text layer in the middle like I did. Now in the second text layer I'm gonna type media. Let's change both font colors to black in the text layers. Now let's add the animation. Go in transitions and find the transition 0 to transition and drag and drop it on the first text. For the second text find the brush and ink transition and drag and drop it between the two text layers. Now let's see the preview. Title number 4. Drag and drop the default title to our timeline. Change the font to Velder in italic. And increase the size to 90%. Type flat media in the our text layer. Let's now copy and paste this text layer, move it just like I did and remove the text media from it. Make sure that the flat text is under the flat media text layer. Change the font on the flat text to Velder and italic line. And change the font color to yellow. Now let's adjust it a bit so it looks modern. Perfect. Now let's copy and paste the flat media text layer once again and move it like I did. I will remove the flat and keep just the media text, change the color to yellow. Now let's add the diagonal in transition on the flat media text layer and on the media text layer as well. And for the flat text layer we are going to animate it using keyframes and add a keyframe for the whole transform section and also for compositing. Adjust the exposition just like I'm doing on the screen and scale it down to around 60%. Now move this keyframe here. Let's now move our cursor forward here and set everything back to normal Automatically this will create our second keyframe. And after this we are going to open our keyframe panel, select all the keyframes, and click on this. We've added an ease into our keyframes. What this means is that our animation will start slowly and the animation speed will increase at the end of the animation. This is our preview. Title number 5 drag and drop the default text to our timeline. Change the font to Miro. I'm gonna type flat media in our text. Change the font color to yellow. Go to advanced and then to animation. Click on where it says loop and double click on the animation green wave fill. Now at the end when the text is fully green, take a snapshot of it. Drag and drop the snapshot after the text, and now you can adjust the text to stay there as long as you like. This is how our animation looks. Thank you for watching the video, like the video, subscribe to our channel, and get your elements in Vado subscription from the link in our description. Peace!